Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ableton Life 9 Quick Tips. This time it's going to be all about life clips and how to create them. And let's start with what are life clips. So life clips are these little clips like here that have the ALC ending. So everywhere where you've got clips as well, like here, all those, those are live clips. Live clips can be audio clips or MIDI clips. And the cool thing about them is that you can, when you save them, not only the clip settings and the envelope settings are saved, but also the live devices in the track that the clip is on. Let me just show you, for example, I've got some as well. So for example, I could just drag that in. If you want it to be recreated with the live devices, you have to drag it into an empty track or onto the site. I'm going to show you how. And drop it. And here you can see that the uh, warp marker settings are here, all the clip settings that I made. And I have, don't happen to have anything in there, but if I take this, for example, then because this is a MIDI clip, I have an instrument rack in there, and that's recreated as well, as well as the MIDI clip with all the settings. Right, so how can you save those live clips? So I've got a clip here that I just, I'm just going to quickly play it. And um, I would like to save this now. So what I can do is just simply drag and drop. And I can drop it anywhere in places, except I think in packs. Um, so you just basically, you could drop it in the user library. For example, I've got a put it in the clips folder. If you if you get more, you can make subfolders and just rearrange that here in the live browser. Or you just could drop it, could drop it in the current project or any other folders that you have in places. Yeah, I'm just gonna save it in here, drop it. And now I can decide what I wanna name it. I'm actually gonna keep it, otherwise you can just change the name by typing and save it. And if I drag it over again, then you can see everything's recreated as well. Those are live clips. It works just the same way with audio clips. In the session view, it always has to be in the session view. One more thing, when you're working with an audio clip, you have to make sure that you don't lose the connection to the, actually, to the actual audio sample because that's just a linked file that contains all the data for what has to be recreated, but not the actual audio sample. So um, for this, you have to go into the preferences and check under library what's set. And under collect files on X export, you should choose something like always or ask. With always, it'll just be copied over automatically. So all the audio files are copied. With ask, you will be, will be asked, so depending on what, what things you do, you might not always want to copy all the audio files over all the time. You can set it to ask. And um, then when you just drag and drop the clip to create a live clip, it'll be copied automatically or you will be asked if you want to copy it. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses more information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.